I think it's good. I just feel like I think it's good. What's going on, guys? Cerebro here for T3G, along with Full Throttle. And uh, we're actually about to go out and see a movie. Uh, we're about to go see Black Hat. I'm excited. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I'm excited. That looked pretty cool. I, Listen, I saw it's been a while since I've seen a good hacking movie type of deal. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. yeah it was Hackers in 1994. Right. <laughs> 94? 94? 95? Yeah, so, I know. think 94. Whatever. Um, but we're, we're just wanna, we're, since we're going to do a review of it, um, we figured uh, we'd share with you guys kind of our plan with this. Uh, for movies, we're going to be going to see all the kind of big movies. We've got at least one movie a month, basically, that we've picked out. Um, I mean, most of them you guys will know. Uh, next month, I'm pretty excited because we're going to do uh, Jupiter Ascending, yeah. which has kind of been controversial because it got pushed back a couple a times. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, And it's funny because if you look at the original trailers that they had, they had uh, very much... Love story. This girl's finding yeah. out she's a princess or whatever. And, and now it's more. Action. All the trailers now are just super action, yeah. hardcore battles. Yeah. So it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if they reshot a lot, but that's gonna be interesting. I think they did something. They had to have done something to push it that far. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. obviously they were worried about something. So absolutely, yeah. So let's see what do we got in uh, in March. Uh, opportunity. Chappie looks pretty cool. I'm, I am interested in Chappie. That's the new um, okay. Uh, the guy that did District Nine and okay, uh, Asylum okay. or Elysium. Elysium. Uh, he's yeah, doing Chappie. Elysium. Yeah, but Chappie looks interesting. You got Hugh Jackman in there. It's about a robot. Once again, a tech movie. It's about a robot that kind of is like experiencing emotions type of deal. Like he's learning, and 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 through the learning, he's like experiencing things a robot normally wouldn't. So okay. Uh, it, it looks interesting. I, I actually am... Um, so that, that might be the one. Yeah. Uh, we'll take a look. This, there, I'm not seeing anything that really strikes out at me, but I haven't seen trailers for most of these. Right. Uh, Insurgent actually looks good. Insurgent was looks weird. better. Yeah, it looks better. Divergent than looked Divergent. bad, honestly. Divergent, I thought, was going to be just the next Twilight, so I didn't see it. But Insurgent looks good, so I might have to watch... Divergent was, Diver it was good. It was okay. good. I'm not going to lie. I might it have to good. watch it then. It was good. Uh, April, uh, we got Furious, Furious 7, 7, of course. Uh, I think we... Furious have... 7. What else we got here? I think that's it for, for March. Is that really it? Or for April, I mean. Yeah, it looks like so Furious 7. We're, I mean, I'm a huge Fast and oh. Furious guy. Uh, not, obviously, the newer movies have been better. Uh, so I'm not a huge fan because of the acting by any means from the previous ones. Uh, I'm just a fan because I'm a car guy. So it, it, it's just fun movies. Uh, but the la the latest movies have been really good. Absolutely, I mean, they've been just, absolutely. They've turned I mean, around by a lot. I liked all of them. I just right. I, I liked I like kind of the evolution of the characters. Re they really wanted they, you could tell that they really wanted to build up these yeah. characters. It was kind of funny because you know in two. Uh, Vin Diesel didn't want to come back because he thought he was going to be this big next big action right. star. So then when they did three in Tokyo with you know none of the other actors, um, he came back for that little guest spot. And now they've they've done just a, such a great job tying oh, it all yeah. together. Yeah, they did a great uh, I'm job. I'm super excited. I mean, I mean, you know, Furious Seven. We're just going to get uh, Jason Statham driving another car. Hey, whatever, <laughs> man. I'm okay with him driving another car and doing but what he it's does. Gonna be, I think it's going to be fun. I think yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, May, obviously, I don't even have to say it. Age of Ultron. Uh, and Jurassic. Oh no, that's not. Uh, Age also, of Max, Mad Max. Yeah, Mad Max is definitely one of those uh, that I want. San Andreas. I mean, it's it's The Rock, so I enjoy his movies. Oh, even yes, if yes, they're yes, not yes. great. Uh, I haven't seen any trailers for that yet, but we'll see. Tomorrowland really. looks awesome. That's the George Clooney fantasy movie where she picks up like a pen and that sends looks her into amazing. Yeah, yes. so that that, that actually. So we might have to see at least two movies that month. Oh, yeah, so you know May might saying? be a busy month. May might be a busy month. Uh, June. Uh, uh, like I said, Jurassic World. Jurassic uh, World. We got know, Ted Two, which I really want to see. I like. I haven't the first seen one. the first one, so. Um, B O O Bureau of Otherworldly Operations. I haven't even seen. You know what that, that it sounds like? It's like a really like a like a new take on on the old right. BAD cartoon, right. Bureau of Alien Detectors. If you've never seen it, watch that, Jared. I've never I've never even seen a commercial for that. Neither have I. Although that Entourage, looks, but that looks entertaining. Entourage that same month. 
Yeah, listen, guys. I don't know if, if you haven't seen Entourage. If you haven't seen watch Entourage, that series, watch Entourage. Because that movie's coming out, and that's going to be fantastic. <laughs> watch that series. That's and it's not if we're trying to overhype it or anything. It's just, it's it's really a good show. I don't show. know anyone that didn't like yeah. Entourage. So it's, and the movie, I can only imagine, is going to be just as good. Absolutely. So. Uh, July, of course, was that? Yeah, that was June. Yeah, so July, June. we've got Terminator, Gen Y, Sis, or whatever. Yep. Uh, uh, as well as Ant Man. Ant Man, definitely. Um, and the new Point Break, which I almost want to see in theaters. Just about listen, this I enjoy the old one. I don't mind. I I, I don't know. Is, is Gerard Butler still in there? Because he was supposed to be playing the role of. Patrick Swayze, where uh, he's the bad guy, he's the surfer bad Possibly. guy. Possibly. So uh, I, I heard, I heard, but I rumors. can't remember if he backed out or whatever. Yeah, but I don't. Remember. I mean, honestly, yeah, why not, right? So that's July, August. August <sighs> got some stuff, man. Fantastic Four. Yep. Goosebumps. Yep. The man. And if you don't know, look into the, that. The man from Uncle. The man from Uncle. Uh, um, what do we got here? Hitman. Straight out of Compton. Oh yeah. Hitman. The remake. We got Agent the Hitman. Forty-seven. We've got yeah. Wow, that's going to be Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon 2. I didn't even two. hear about it. I didn't even hear about two, it. Two, the two. sequel. The sequel. Um, so, right, so, so August, August is going to be expensive. Month. <laughs> August, August is going to be expensive. Busy. It's a good thing we're not going to Wizard World anymore. Yeah, right? right? That's, I agree. <laughs> um, let's see, we got September. Uh, we got Maze Runner. Maze uh, Runner 2. Which was, which he loved. I loved the first, first movie. one. It I enjoyed it. absolutely I enjoyed the it. best first movie in a trilogy or in a series Ever. Absolutely the best. I bar none. Fight me on that, please. I, I would like I would love to see a movie that was a better first movie in a series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does mention that quite a bit. We got uh, um, Hotel Transylvania, that's uh, I think the animated movie that yeah. Adam Sandler did the mm-hmm. voice for, which which was it was fun. It was a fun movie, the first Black one. Mass Everest. Uh, the intern. Hmm, I wonder what that is. Hmm. Well, we don't right. know, so we'll go on next October. So, October. so let's see, we'll come back. We got another we'll Frankenstein, eh? Okay. I don't know. So, well, I think they're actually, like, remaking the original. Gotcha. Like, the classics. Gotcha. Well, that'd be cool. Uh, the Last Witch Hunter. Uh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Gem and the Holograms. Now, I never watched Gem as a child, um, and I've never seen an episode or anything of it, really, besides, like, the intro. Uh, and I'm interested in seeing it just to kind of see how it translates, because I'm going to watch, a sh- like, one or two episodes beforehand. Right. And then I'm going to watch the movie because I think it's going to be interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in Frankenstein because I do like the story of Frankenstein. Of course. It's just how it's done. Uh, also, as well, the Jungle Book. I don't mind seeing the There's supposed to be two of, those kind of, of that. Yeah, there is supposed to There's be. A, a, and a also, two of the. Well. Also, supposedly, two uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast, I believe. Uh, ah, actual yes. movies. I believe so, yeah. Uh, so, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't mind seeing that in Scouts nope. vs. Zombies. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Who knows? All right. Who knows? Uh, Sorry, guys, we haven't seen the trailers for some of these, so we can't say for sure if that's something. Obviously, The Hunger Games Mocking J Part 2, that's something that's, I have that's to November, see. That's November, absolutely. Uh, because I'm, I'm interested to see. So, Furious. The, so, this year we have two very unique things. We're going to have Furious 7 and the uh, Mocking J Part 2, which are both going to include kind of not necessarily modified versions of the script, but modified interpolations of a character because right. two bo- uh, actor from both of those movies died. Right. Um, because Paul Walker obviously died, and Seymour, yeah. Seymour, um, Phil Seymour Hoffman died, mm-hmm. uh, and he was. They said he was almost done filming part two, uh, but there was supposedly one or two like major scenes that still weren't done. Right. So uh, I think that's going to be interesting to see how they handle. Well, it. I mean, with with Furious Seven, he did like half the movie. So yeah, with, with that, that's half... going to be that's that's an achievement and a half, I think, the... because. His his brothers came in. Yeah, the other so the other half. What they're doing is, if it's a long away shot, they're gonna use the bu- brother. Uh, if it's a close up shot, they're gonna have to CG the face sure. uh, on the butter. I'm assuming on the brother's body. So I presume, you yeah. know, yeah, I'm assuming that's what they're doing. But that, December, that's definitely interesting to see them do it because the the director, uh, which is like the Conjuring, I think he did. He was like really. He's supposed to be one of the best horror filmmakers. I forgot what yes, his name is. Yes, uh, Trang. Possibly, I, th- I think that's yeah, possible. I, I but remember. yeah, I can't wait to see what he does with that because that's that's definitely an interesting situation to be in as a director. So, um, like, I can't can't wait to see what he does. So, December twenty fifteen, um, Krampus. That's the thing that um, <laughs> uh, 
uh, AMC Movie Talk. What's his name? Campio? No, the other one. Schnapp? Schnapp. Uh, sh- the Schnapp was talking about years ago he wanted to make a movie about the Krampus. Oh. Uh, the, like, anti- anti-Santa. Oh. Um, but then, of course, the major, major thing in December is Star Wars. Star Wars, so, yes. Well, here's the thing. Uh... I've never actually fully watched any of the Star Wars. So then we're going to be watching the Star Wars movies as yeah. well this year. Yeah, so we're going to have to I watch... I want to watch them in chronological order, because that's how I'm watching Star Trek right now, and it's kind of awesome. Yeah. So I'd like to watch them in chronological order. I see what you're saying. Because it, it was, it's been very interesting with Star Trek, because everything, I mean, everything really ends up fitting together, even though it was never meant to. So. The only thing I'm worried about that is if we start watching the sequ- or prequels before the sequels, I'm going to get used to the graphics in the prequels, and then... Uh, Oh, I mean, I, well, with the with the remaster, if we watch the remaster version, yeah, that's true. We'll just have to watch the one that's not yeah. the thirty fifth. I definitely have to watch it. Like, no, I do have to watch the only movie that I watched actually, which is weird. I don't know why I did it. Uh, I think because everybody that I was with wanted to go see it, but I watched the last prequel, the third film in the prequels. I watched in the theater fully. That was the only one where he becomes Vader. Well, that's weird. Yeah, that was weird. That's super weird. I don't know why that I did out, of, out of order. I mean, I understood. I I I, I knew the story. So am I five? Yes, yes. Mission, Mission Impossible, Impossible five, five, which I can't wait I for. Because love Mission Impossible. Uh, well, the last one especially. I mean, he just they did a that phenomenal job with that. That was amazing. Out of all the Mission and Impossible, and they really set it up so that the uh, what's his face, Hawkeye would take over. Right. Um, I can't think of his name for some reason. But, he, I mean, Tom Cruise is definitely in it, so we'll see. Yeah, he's definitely in it, so it, but they set it up in such a way so that, you know, it's part of, you know, it's that if family it ever unit. Comes to it, yeah, yeah, it's that family unit. It's that funny might, that uh, Jeremy Renner is not only taking over for Mission Impossible, but they also have him been doing Bourne as well, so it's like, it's it's crazy. It's just super, crazy. super spy, you know and he's saying? Hawkeye, who is technically and he's a on super the spy. Right. He's got super spy down. Yeah, he's, oh, so, so the to be announced this year uh, are... Resident Evil 6. Okay, I've been waiting for, to see that. Oh, That's Taken my, 3 came out. Just like everybody sure, else, time. just like everybody else, uh, it's my guilty pleasure. They're terrible movies, they're but bad they're fun. Movies, but they're super fun. But they're fun. So, Resident Evil 6, yeah, definitely. So I'm not going to see it in 3 because I'm not a fan. Ratchet and Clank, which, is, which sounds like an awesome movie. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Another Amityville movie, which I think is weird because they've, they've beaten that to death. Right. Uh, <laughs> nah, you see what you uh, mean. <laughs> uh, we got The Raven, which I've heard a little bit about. about. Uh, Doc Savage, which I think is also based on a DC property. Mm-hmm. Um, Escobar, Paradise Lost, which is funny because that's a movie that was technically made in universe in uh, Entourage. They made that movie. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. No, I do have a question, though. Did I already miss... Um, and the agent movie uh, that was supposed to come out where the guy, uh, the British guy recruits a young kid. No, no, what you're What's talking about What's is because uh, I don't remember seeing it on the list there, which is let's, weird. Let's run back here. It is the Kingsman. Kingsman, thank uh, you. Yes, because I want to see that badly. Uh, where is it? How was it already out? That would be shocking. Well, I, that's what I'm saying. It's just no, it's not out. No. But why is it not on that list? Because hmm. this is Movie Insider. Maybe I just missed it. Let's see here. I mean, did it come out during Christmas? No. Absolutely not. I'm going to pull out my phone and Google the Kings. And let's see what happens here. Because... Um, because it does have a, a, an actual long name. It's not just Kingsman. Right. The comic or the graphic novel is just Kingsman. Um, Lazarus Project. The Lazarus Effect. Hot Tub Time Machine 2, which is, I think, funny. Uh, Kingsman The Secret Service is out. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Release date is February 13th. Okay, there we go. Which, is it not? Listen. Yeah, that's yeah, right there. Kingsman. We just, we missed, just it. missed it. Yes, the Kingsman. So then we do have two two movies. Uh, yeah, next so month. in February. So next month, man, these these. I didn't realize how packed this. Uh, We're gonna year start was. working the corner, right? <laughs> I mean, it's it's just a packed year, and, and next year is gonna be even more packed. It's just 2016. Ridiculous. I'm not even. I'm not even looking forward to it. I want to get sponsored. Can, yeah. can somebody get? Can we somebody get sponsor us just for movies? For movies, just like AMC or like Marcus D. Somebody, because right. that's they're really close. That's why I say that. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus is. I could walk to Marcus if I really wanted to. 
But no, uh, I mean it's just it's a lot of money. Yeah, can we like we'll, we'll review your theater? Just like throw us throw us some free tickets. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a really crazy. It's gonna be an expensive year, man. Expensive couple of years. Twenty sixteen is well, mad. I mean, we we don't stop there, man. We we start this year, twenty fifteen. Then we got twenty sixteen. Some major films in twenty sixteen. Well, yeah, you got two comics. DC movies, yeah. two Marvel movies. Twenty seventeen, we got DC and two, and yeah, two, two Marvel, <laughs> two DC. Movies. And that's not counting everything else that's coming out. We're just talking now, Marvel. Now, I will I will asterisk that by saying DC could still not do that whole slate. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll talk about that another time. But yeah. I think the possibility still exists that if Batman vs Superman bombs and I don't think I, I don't think, think it's gonna bomb. I don't think it's gonna bomb the way we think it might or that it that it could. I think it has the potential to have very little leeway. I think it has the potential to be a movie that it's it's, well, it's well, gonna either be huge that's for, or it's gonna be me. That's for another video. We'll talk about that later because this video is just basically an update. But yeah, guys, we're not getting rid of tech or anything. Tech is still the main oh, of priority course. of this channel. Of course, yeah, we got quite a uh, few we just, tech videos. Actually we're just big nerds. We like all kinds of movies, TV shows, so we figure why not toss that into the channel as well and... You know, if you guys like that stuff, you enjoy it with us, or if not, then you can enjoy our tech videos and, you know, not watch these, so that's what it is, you know, that's why we're offering both. <laughs> sure, yeah. And I mean, I know a lot of people that are tech guys just like us and love movies, so. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, look out for more videos. We're going to be doing Black Hat Review after we watch it. I don't know, we can film it tonight. Why not? We can film it tonight. It's why a two-hour private movie or so. Yeah. So yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. I, you know, look out for these. I'm excited. I'm, I'm super I'm excited. I'm excited, man. I'm just not excited for my wallet. Our Ooh, wallets. I guess. All right, guys. We'll see you out. next time. Right, we kind of timed that. It was good.